What's up, y'all? This is your first video episode for the Native Tongue Show. And it's what we're going to bring it to you live right here. You know what I'm saying? We're coming on at 7. 701 right now, so watch the magic at, magic at work. You know what I'm saying? This is the first episode blog. Please check it out. Have a good time. The Native Tongue Show. Come to you live. Let's go. Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome, welcome. This is WSAM 105.3, the Native Tongue Show, coming to you live Thursdays, every sat, sat, every Thursday, 7 o'clock. We're here right now live in the studio. Pat it should be coming soon. Pat should be coming soon. And right now, actually, um, as we speak, we got the MacBook Vision. This is what we're going to call it right here, the MacBook Vision. This is where I'm recording um, to put it on the website that we have, the nativetongueshow.com. And put it up there, and y'all can watch the episode just in case if you missed it on Thursdays or or Sunday for the midnight love. You know what I'm saying? So no excuses here. We try to bring it to you live. You know we bring those hits. You could call in 860-768-4768 if you have any comics about the show, any uh you know criticism you got about it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Any suggestions or comments for us, and uh, any topics you want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? We we got here for you live. And actually, just right now, we got the boy in the building. Yo, say what up to the MacBook Vision right here. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is the MacBook Vision. Hey. Yeah, this is the MacBook Vision. We're going to post it up on the blog, the nativetongueshow.com. It's your boy Pat over here. You know what I'm saying? You already know. Exactly, exactly. We're trying to bring it down here. You know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, you know what I'm saying? I always got the hot music. Pat always got the hot music. We always got the exclusive stuff. So, you know what? We're just going to play it, man. And then... Uh, and try to enjoy this Thursday for y'all, you know what I'm saying? We're going to make it happen, you know what I'm already saying? already know. All right, then. So we're going to start off with some new joint I just recently got today. Shout out to Her Affection, herfection.com, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the blogs I check out, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to her, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is one of the um, songs I got off her website, you know what I'm saying? You can also find this on my uh, on the website as well, our website, the thenativetongueshow.com. I'm going to keep on saying that to you, y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's a good website. You should check it out. New hot and new... New music videos, anything, man. Mixtapes, we putting downloaded mixtapes up there too. So you know what? No excuses, no excuses for not going to the site. You know what I'm saying? But here's no Mikey. No reason not to do it. Yeah, you already know what it is. Here's Mikey Rocks featuring Hollywood Hulk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this mm, is easy over here. You know what I'm saying? Check out the beat, man. It's going crazy. We trying to make it happen. Let's go. What's up, y'all? This is Justin here, one half of the Native Tongue Show, and this is what we talked about for the news. 50 Cent and Rick Ross beef. What's the difference? The mentioning of two teachers dating a 13-year-old. Coolio facing jail time. And the mentioning of the Jordan brands. Special guests from EJ, a.k.a. Miss DC. Yes, yes, we are back. This should get show, interesting, y'all. So check it out. Show every Thursday, 7 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Pat, speak to him, man. Yes, we have some crazy news for you people, man. <laughs> crazy. First, we're going to start off with the beef from 50 and Rick Ross. Oh, yeah. I know too many people aren't really getting into it because, you know, it's finals time. But for everybody else who's listening, the world's watching, 50 has a sex tape out mm -hmm. with one of Rick Ross's baby moms. Yo, that is crazy. If if that's not crazy. <laughs> <It does. laughs> Pat, when you told me about it, right, when you told me, you came in the studio, you told me, I was in shock, you know what I'm saying? I can't imagine 50 doing this. Like, where's he trying to take this, yo? Because now, now this is getting real. I think it's getting real. I think it's getting too personal, you know what I'm saying? First, he did DJ Khaled, um, his mom, you know what I'm yeah. saying? He videotaped his mom, saying that, you know, I know where he lives and her, where she lives, and I know where you stay at for Khaled. <clears throat> Um, now, now this, you know what I'm saying? I, he's I taking it too far, but he what's the name? He's just trying to show people that he's not a snitch. But he is a snitch. Oh. He's a snitch too, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. There is official documents that say Fifty <laughs> is a snitch. Mm. And, and you know, you know, Pat is not too too fond of those people. You know no, not at all. And Coolio, Coolio. There's another thing I want to talk about. Coolio may go to jail. Oh. Coolio's still alive. We, play, <laughs> we might play Gangster Paradise. I remember who Coolio is. Oh man. But Coolio might go to jail <clears throat> for having. Crack on him. Oh, hey. I mean, I guess it's looking rough for him, man. Like, yeah. after the limelight, you know what I'm saying? You got to struggle trying to make that dime or even if he's selling it. 
Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. I found it, son. That's what that's what just made Justin Corp just now. I found oh. it. Okay. All right. So okay, it says right here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, baby mamas are the weakest link. Okay, Fifty Cent has a video of Rick Ross and her, and her baby mama. Yo, his other baby mama, because everybody's seen the first one where he talked about some one of his baby mothers that worked for a special type of ladies club. We gonna call it. That's the expensive prostitutes. Know what I mean, oh. the prostitutes to the rich people. So okay. Prostitution does go on, and I have a question. We, me and my homegirl was talking, right? Mm. And. Well, I said, what's the difference from going to college and getting a skill and having sex for many years and gaining a skill and selling your skill? Mm, what, what's the difference? What's the difference? Because it's still a skill that you've learned over time. Okay. That you've mastered. Okay. And you're just trying to sell your skill for money. Okay. All right. Well, so what's the difference between somebody being, per se, a lawyer and a prostitute? Okay. Well, I mean, for me, I... I there is a difference in a sense, okay? There's not a difference in the main mission and the goal, you know what I'm saying? Because the main mission, I guess, is that you are learning a skill, you know what I'm saying? And you're yeah. just doing your thing, trying to get that money, okay? From a lawyer, from a prostitute, from anybody, you know what I'm saying? Now, the difference is is that, you know, everybody can't do that, man. Everybody can't be no No, prostitute. I'm not telling everybody to go out yeah, and I mean, be a stripper. I'm just saying the people who are what? strippers, y'all can't look down at them because everybody's saying there was this conversation that, all video girls are hoes. Mm. I mean, I'm the, I'm the one that's saying that there is a few out there still trying okay. to get right with them. All right, all right, yeah. I, I mean, mean, there's always people that. And there are still girls stripping just to pay tuition. Yeah, that's true. That is true. They try to make a living, man, just like everybody else is. But I mean, honestly, yo, I on that fact, you know what I'm saying? You are right. You know what I'm saying? Because when you come, when it comes down to it, I heard another argument. Why is all these athletes getting paid this money? Well, it's a form of entertainment. If you don't like it, don't show up to the game. Don't buy no jersey. Don't buy no sneakers. Okay? Don't buy no more joints. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, for me, I, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't like when Jordan sells his shoes that high. It's a hot shoe. It's very comfortable. I never got a pair. You know what I'm saying? I refuse to get a pair. Because you know what, man? A hundred and something and now it's going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because they understand now that people would Buy that for crazy amount of money. Yeah, his package. I don't know. You know his shoes is no not to ground downgrade his shoes. I love his shoes, but I just I can't I have condone Jordan's it. On right now. I have you know what I'm saying? Door. See, I see. I mean, but me, I honestly I can't, man. It's a because it's like yo, help the people out like me. You know what I'm saying? Who you know have a budget? You know what I'm saying? I'm a baller with a budget, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, help me out. You know what I mean? That's keeping it real. That's, <laughs> that's really it. <laughs> because this is getting ridiculous. I'm not going front. Like I like I like lavish things. I'm okay. not going to say and lie. I love lavish things. All right. But same here. What I don't like is that people. What's the name? If if you got to save up to have it, that means you couldn't afford it. Mm. I mean that was told to me once, and I I always understood it from that point on. <laughs> if you got to save up to have it. You can't afford it. Oh, man, that is so true, man. I, and I definitely agree with you right there. Definitely agree with you. I mean, you know what I mean? Back to the baby mama situation and stuff like that. I, I think I think 50 is dead wrong for this. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's yeah, up? Man. What's up? Hey, all right, we got a guest here. We got a guest. One of my good friends. Matter of fact, come back here. Come oh, back here. Because oh. this, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is what we talk about right here. This is what we talk about when people come up and show up and to visit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's showing love. She always showed love. Thank you, shouts to DC and all that. Definitely. Hey, this is the, yo right That's there, great. EJ. EJ, you were looking at the MacBook Vision, all right? Wow. So we're gonna put that on the website, the Native Tongue Show We're gonna put that on the website. So you right there, so you you don't mind being on the internet, right? Nah, it's yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm 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 good. <laughs> all right, cool, cool. Would you like to say any words? You want to sit over there? You want you want to talk? You want to chop it up? What y'all chopping up about? Oh, man. What? Okay. I, I have something know. I want to get into. I know it's early in the conversation, okay. but I want to bring it up, son. Okay. It's about a player. Okay. We're going to play a song, though. We're going to play a few songs. Okay. And then we're going to get into this player. Well, this player is from Utah. He's a 13-year-old kid that was able to balance a relationship between two different teachers mm. without them finding out. Mm. 13 yeah. years old? <laughs> 13 years old. 13 I years old, ladies.